so here we are. We just flew into Columbus, Ohio last night, so we've had a good sleep. There's this really awesome, awesome vegan burger shop, um, Eden Vegan Burger. Because she's been a little bit grumpy since we got here, we thought to try and cheer her up. We'll take her to the vegan shop. I don't know, are you looking forward to it, Simon? Not really. A little bit apprehensive, but we're always open to new things. Try anything once or twice. Um, so we asked Tom, but obviously Tom loves his rabbits, and he doesn't want to kill any more rabbits. So we're going to take the brunt of this one. We'll reconvene with Tom later on and tell him how it went. So let's see, let's see how it goes. What did you order? I ordered a California burger, which has got no meat. And then what I'm looking forward to is the loaded macaroni and cheese. That comes with half of the burger patty and then a load of toppings and stuff. All vegan. Have you ever been uh, vegan before? I've never been vegan, no. So this is my first time eating <laughs> in a um, vegan place. I feel very at ease. The guy behind the counter isn't a vegan and he said he would still come here regardless of eating meat. I don't know if he likes to eat meat or if he likes to eat meat, if you know what I mean. Obviously, again, we're eating in a vegan restaurant, so I think we should all have a cheers on behalf of Tom to all the rabbits that have been killed in the making of this video. Get involved, Kush. Come on. For the rabbits. For the rabbits. Ching ching. Cheers, rabbit. rabbits. How was your first bite? Really nice. Does it taste like vegan or just mm. normal meat? Well, the texture is very similar. The, the flavor is really nice, actually. Very, which is nice, really nice. So, I think we'll take one back for Tom and tell him it's like a ribeye, ground beef, the best beef, Japanese fed, beer, rice eating meat, and give him it and see how he handles the rabbit. Deaths. So, thanks to Eden Burger, even though we had to pay for it, but thank you still, all the same. <laughs> right guys, so we're back in the room now, on this lovely casting couch-esque um, well, style of couch. Enough. All the boys out there know what I'm talking about in the casting couch. Oi, oi, cheeky. So we've just been in the the best ribeye burger place in Columbus. So obviously we took our burger back. Same you've got it here, have you? I'll just explain what it is in this brown bag. Oh, look at that, smells that. Pure ribeye, unadulterated beef. Not as good as Scottish beef. Look at that, Tom. Oh, ah. no spices in that, 100%. I, I no swear, spices. swear down there's no spices. I asked him not to put any spices. Just- You're laughing, is there spice on this? Animal blood, bacon, Double I wonder bits. if it's real, you can't even squeeze, see the sauce, grease should be coming out of bits. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's some saliva coming out of there. Isn't that nice? You can taste the fakeness of that. Oh, that little mushroom. Huh? It's smart. Yeah, it's tastes, it, they know what it is. Does it taste nice? No, it tastes weird and plastic. It's not tasting, oh, it's supposed to sound it's amazing. That last bit, what is the last bit? It's bacon. That's bacon, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that last, the first bit was nice, I don't even know what that bit was, but that last bit was oh, good thing about it. Eating like that. Give it to Cushy. I got a present back from uh, wow. Columbus. What have you got? CBD, cannabidiol, diol, uh, idiol, <laughs> from Colorado, Colorado growing hemp. So I don't know if it's illegal or illegal. I don't know if it's got or THC uh, in it, but it's got protein and carbs. Here it goes. Can contain it's a good luck present for his log press. I'm very can proud of it. Oil. Can a bit of oil. So a little taste oh, of this. Mm. Mm. Oh, that bacon was. I've never had root beer in my life. Mm. Root beer. Oh, smell that, say. Mm, that's nice. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> taste that like cola, look, taste it. I need a little jobby. So that's our little vegan eating day. Stay tuned. <laughs> I don't want to bore you too much with my vegan eating today, but I heard from a couple of people actually from the Game Changers Netflix documentary that's so amazing that being a vegan makes you smarter. So Tom's had all his beef today, steak, whatever else he's eating. I've had all vegan stuff. So now we're going to have a little pub quiz to see which is smarter, vegan or steak stuff. 
fact that asparagus increases test levels. We're about to start the quiz. Ten questions. So we're going to have a little game of rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first. Right. One, two, three. Tom wins. Tom wins. Right, I'm in. Who's, who's first? I'm first. You're second. Huh? You're second, yeah. I'm second. Uh, you're first. <laughs> you're first. You're first. Right, I go first. Okay, quiz master. Well, first question, please. Which animal can deliver a kick capable of killing a lion? Kangaroo! That's easy. Is it? No. No. Yeah. It's a antelope gazelle. An antelope. A gazelle. No. A f kick spring box. Giraffe. No. An ostrich. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. But you can't get that because you have like loads of Oh, yeah, it's only one each for you. But still, right, if I had that right, I'd have to wrap the dust. According to the Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland, what kind of food is eaten tomorrow, yesterday, but never today? Oh, I know this one. Custard? Mine. Custard? No. Spaghetti? No. So you oh. both fail. What is it? Jam. Four of the five Olympic rings are green, blue, red and yellow. Which colour is the fifth ring? Right, let's go out the box here, like... Gold? No. <laughs> so what, what colours did you say? Green, blue, red and yellow. Which is the colour of the fifth oh, ring? Blue. No. I've said green. I've Sorry. said blue. Sorry, right. green, I've blue. said yellow. Which colour is the fifth ring? We said red. Black. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Which continent has the largest Catholic population? Now the obvious one, Glasgow. <laughs> Tom, do you know a continent? Is that your final is? answer? <laughs> it's really bad. I just want to say that. <laughs> I would say South America. Correct. Oh! Look at me! Brr. I thought it was Glasgow. I hate them. That's not a continent. The M90 motorway oh, is the most wow. <laughs> is the most northerly motorway in the United Kingdom. Which city is the northern end? Newcastle. Wrong. Glasgow. Wrong. Edinburgh. Uh, <coughs> this is done. Uh, oh, okay. That's A9. What is the literal meaning of the word Islam? Love God. <laughs> no. Uh, pray? No. Submission. Oh, there's going to be about Islam tonight in our bed. Henry VIII had two of his wives executed. Anne Boleyn was one. Can you name the other? Yeah, no, no. Pass. Elizabeth. There's a point of even asking a question like that for me because I don't have a clue. Wrong. Oh. Catherine Howard. Oh. How oh, we don't, we weren't born then, so how do we know? <laughs> My question. <laughs> <laughs> History, isn't it, Tom? What I mean, is the name given to a cage or a box filled with rocks, concrete, or sometimes sand and soil for the use of civil engineering? A cube. You fill up a box to do engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see. Is that your final answer, Tom? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. How the heck do you meant to fill up a box? You fill up a box or some of cement. <laughs> I'll repeat the question. What? What is the name given to a cage or box filled with rocks, concrete, or sometimes Hard. sand and soil for the use of civil engineering? Hard. A B I O N. Hard to cool. Gabon. Gabon. Gabion. Gabion. I've never boxed cement or stones and put it under the ground. Wait, none of you engineers out there know that, mate. How many members were in the Monty Python team? Five. Fail. Seven. Fail. What? Six. Ah! I knew that. <laughs> right, next question. Which 2004 American drama film starring Sandra Bullock and Matt Dillon shares its name with a collective noun from a group of rhinos? Sandra Bullock and Matt Damon. Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Hey, Matt Dillon. Matt, who's Matt Dillon? Sandra hey, Bullock. hey, <laughs> Matt, Mr. American Matt Dillon, Pie. I would say that would be um, speed number two. Fail. Speed number three. Is <laughs> <one>. <laughs> No, crash. Ah, oh, crash. I don't heard of any of these questions. That's a gargle of rhinos as well. What is the capital of Austria? Vienna. Yeah, Luke got the point. What's the capital of Bahrain? Dubai. Bahrain. <laughs> Bahrain. Bahrain's the capital of Bahrain? Yeah. No. Manama? Okay, that's my second guess. What's the capital of Bulgaria? Oh, Sofia. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. What's the capital of Canada? 
You've been Quebec. Like, you know this. No. Oh, it's, it's uh, Montreal. No. How have you ever been to Quebec? Newfoundland. No. That's it. Do it through. Ottawa? Oh, right. no, I didn't. Ottawa. No. What is the capital of China? Beijing. Thai. <laughs> I said Beijing. <"Bajai." laughs> What's the capital of the Czech Republic? Prague. Okay, let's point. Capital of France. Paris. Paris. Capital of Greece. Athens. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a draw? <laughs> I don't even know. She's a garfin. Right, the last three. Capital of hey. Italy. Rome. Yeah, Jordan. Me first. Luke, the, Capital uh, Tom, of Tom, Japan. Tom, Tokyo. 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 Luke. Capital of Monaco. Hey. Two to Tom. One, two, three. <laughs> Team vegan. Seven to Luke. Uh, two. Team vegan. Overall, how many points did you get, Tom? His age played a big part there. So Tom got, how many did you get? His age played a big Two. part there, he's 10 years old. So, so my dad got to learn him more. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, nine points to two points. So you I've got to lower points because it's better for you. I'm going to, am I going to carry on eating a vegan? Yes, I will eat vegan, but I won't eat vegan food. <laughs> good, because that's just what I thought was good. We hope you enjoyed our vegan video and our quiz. Tom really came off very well, I think. Very sophisticated. I try my best. I've, I've not been to school for like eight years. Good. The last time I was I didn't learn history. I learned how to pee. I mean, how to pee. <laughs> pee now. You learned how to pee in school. I learned how to pee. Like, what do they do if they like the video? Please guys, go please to donate so Tom Tuesday. can go back to school. <laughs> Let's send Tom to school to learn English and learn how to pee. Swipe up, Tom. I don't do this. I'm Keep ringing that little bell. <laughs> Keep liking, commenting, subscribe, ring the bell. Ding, I love ding. all my fans. I love all my fans. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding.